Before we had Ski Master Slump God and Lil Skies, we had Sleepy Black, an artist back in 2014 that we thought was gonna become one of the biggest rappers ever. There's a big chance that you don't even know who he is. And if that's the case, grab some popcorn, grab a soda, because you're about to be put on. So what happened to Sleepy Black? In 2014, he ended up dropping Without You, which is to this day his biggest song. It had everyone wondering who was this turtleneck wearing, do rag wearing motherfucker. <clears throat> Could be kids watching, I'm a chill. The music was completely different than anything we heard at the time, with this sound being more of a lo-fi R&B sound. And the videos had a very nostalgic feeling to it, which is why they hold up to this day. The editing and the sound blended together really nice, and it made for a very unique sound. And to this day, artists are still trying to capitalize and make a sound like that. There isn't a single artist that is as unique as Sleepy Black. Songs like DJ Khaled is my father and Idol would also take off. It seemed like soon enough he was going to become a mainstream artist, but this would be far from the case. He would link up with local rappers in his area and create the standard. This would be a rap group that only lasted a single album. They ended up all splitting up and going solo, but the music was still really good. Spooky Black or Corbin didn't like the name Spooky Black. He said that he hated people calling him that in the first place. This would make him change his name to Corbin, just being his regular old name. But around this time, Spooky Black would disappear. He would disappear until 2017. He wasn't making any music, but there was talk about him on an interview. It wasn't until 2020 when the kid Leroy hit him up asking for him to be a feature. Surprisingly, this worked, but he only had a flip phone at the time. Why? I don't know. No, no clue why. But they exchanged contacts, and they ended up making the song Not Fair. Both of these artists' unique sounds definitely blended together really well, and it was good to hear Corbin back at it. But yet again, he would disappear from the spotlight until 2021. He would drop the Ghost of Skin album, and it does show that he has talent to this day. Since this, we haven't heard much from Spooky Black. But whenever he does return, it's obvious that he's gonna release good music. He's like Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, or Post Malone. If he drops a song, no matter what, he's gonna have a cult following that comes to him. It is obvious that he's a talented artist, and and I'm definitely gonna be waiting to hear more from him. But with all that being said, I'm gonna go get me a do-rag and a turtleneck. Y'all stay safe, stay notorious, peace out.